she kind of opened her her lip and 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 said something to him and he and he kind of reared back and slapped her and she's well, just kind of like you know kind of you're safe about. now lass says well pretty safe we're probably not gonna follow you up i point to the north just follow the trail keep wall to your right You'll find exit right next oh, to giant oh, that's, body of uh, lumber. We need to go back the way that uh oh the the oh that that creature with the the claws oh we killed it oh did you are you're heroes you all are I, heroes I, I, I struck the final blow on it too ladies because you oh. always get last initiative. <laughs> What what is this initiative that you speak of? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kel comes up as well. He's he's here. Kel Kel love uh, gives a little bit of ration. So. As they don't have the blue pill yet. <laughs> why why don't uh why don't everyone go ahead and deduct one one day's worth of rations as you guys kind of. Uh, you know, not only for your for your rest, but uh, also sharing with these unfortunate, uh, uh, basically slaved miners. And 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 to tell you, well, we I have only to... have six spiced meats left, Dave. <clears throat> oh, oh darn! <laughs> but but be careful. There there are other things down here too that that we've that we've heard of. Like what, what? kinds of things? Doc needs to know. The dungeon Talk master, the dungeon master needs to get out his his uh, cheat sheet really quick so he can look and tell you. <laughs> what is this dungeon master? Uh, uh, <laughs> exactly. Oh, he's the robed little one with the white hair. Really good looking guy. Uh, big black beard and all. Uh, uh, anyways. Uh, uh, there, there's, there's more. <laughs> uh, there's more of us also. We, they, see, we, we've been on. There's been some Duogar, and there were some other miners that were doing this, but they, I guess they, they weren't getting paid well enough, and they just disappeared. Uh, so, uh, w we were actually chosen to to do a little bit of work, uh, and and we're not miners. We we don't know how to use these tools. And uh, there there's a there's more of us. There's uh, uh, all kinds of. Uh, there's some other peasants back in the back. There's another couple cells, three more cells to be exact, all the way over to the southeast. And uh, you just take a you, and this guy over here. You know the real good. I'm gonna hand him a a, a quill guy. and a piece of paper and have him sketch it out. Okay, sure. He sketches out. Uh, takes him about 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 three to four minutes, and he sketches it out. And uh, he 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 says, uh, th "There's there's a lot of tunnels to the south." Uh, and he, you know he basically sketches everything out. He says, "There there's another room uh, that." that leads back up to the top actually there's multiple areas that lead back up to the top of the monastery uh we've only been in the monastery one time uh but Maybe we've we just been here in us. the dark uh, uh, oh, uh we're not i, I don't want to fight i'd rather not i'd rather them get someplace safe uh, they know the way you i could show us around i've heard them talking about a, a crypt a uh, yeah donk you stupid ass i just drew you a map but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but he says that there. Uh, Dog's there feeling yeah, there's you a fat fuck. There's a there's a crypt. Uh, oh, oh, but they, they talk about this crypt being being haunted. Uh, uh, something about uh, an archlich. Oh, is in the crypt. It, I we've never seen it. But but they've told us that they were they were gonna give us to the lich if if we weren't gonna mine here. Oh, it's all right. We're, we're, fr geo. we're friends of him. Just tell him our names and he'll give you a safe passage out. Well, and, and what are all... I, I see the, the big... The big ogre here. He's a... He's... His name is Donk, right? What is everybody else's names? The name's Theo Grogfest of Clan Grogfest. Purveyor of 
fine spirits. Okay, Leo. Uh, let me let me write this down on the. Can I have another piece of parchment? My uh, uh, my memory's not so good sometimes. So he write he get he 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 writes down Leo. Okay, there's Leo, and there's Theo. The, th oh, Theo with a T. Okay, he scratches it out. Shh, shh, shh. Theo. All right, and then there's then there's there's Kronk. Donk, That's I mean me. Donk. I'm sorry. And who who are you, who are you, little one? Are you you're a gnome, right? Oh, you're a little miss. No. <laughs> Not a damn gnome. I'm Raz. I'm a halfling. All right. We're cooler. Raz. Is is that Raz with an L as in like Laz or a Raz with an R? Raz with an <laughs> I whispered a Raz with and a Doc. With an R. It's a silent S P. We call her. Whispered a Raz and Doc. Now I see why they got beat so much. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, writes on Raz. And, and what's your name? Uh, oh, you're a you're an you're a pretty elf. Uh, what what's your name? Who's a pretty elf? Who's you come here often. <laughs> Throw some of that slave game down. I look up briefly from the from the spell book and snap it closed because I picked my spell. And um, I look over. Oh, I'm sorry I to interrupt you, but what's your name? Because I because they told me that you're we're supposed to give Mr. Lich guy the the secret password with your names on it or to get out of here. Oh, I haven't She's seen a, sunlight. In it's Elora. Uh, okay, okay, Plethora. We'll that's go. It. That's it, Plethora. <laughs> okay, so we have Plethora, Donk, Theo with a T, and Raz with a an, a, 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 an R. All right. All right. So we can we can all leave now. You you you're not gonna you're not gonna hurt us, are you? But there's, you know, no. this room here, this room, he points to the map, basically the, on the right side of the map, towards the top, there's more tunnels and stuff. He says, I, I don't have the precise tunnels, uh, but I haven't really, I've been in these pens, but, uh, you know, since yesterday, we've, they've been kind of taking us around and, and chopping on blocks, and, you know, I, I don't know why they're having me and, and everybody else here. And the, the other guy says, yeah. We're just guilty by association because this guy just keeps running his mouth, and we're hooked up to his chain. So whenever he gets disciplined, all of us gets disciplined. So I, he so goes, I yeah, we're just kind of guilty by association. I yeah, yeah, if, Poor yeah, people. Mr. Donk. Yeah, yeah. What is? Have you guys know about the Fane of the Eye or the Black Geode? Have you guys know about that? Oh, I I remember uh, uh, an Orog was saying that there were some stairs that that were going down, uh, and he needed the key. I I guess they were delivering supplies to, uh, I think to some dark elves or something, uh, from what I could understand. And 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 but they he had to get a key, and I remember I remember the name Geo though. I remember that. Okay. So, that's all Donk needs he, to know. He kind of points on the map, uh, the upper part of the map. He says, "This, this is the crypt. This is where, uh, this is where the Lish is." And and but I've never been in there. And in fact, I've never been in any of these. But I, I know where the locations are because I've I've had to deliver things and set them at the doors and whatnot. So I I do know where these places are. I, and, and I so hope it, they're they're accurate. Put them in a sleeper hold. <laughs> no, it's not. So he he basically points to the central location of the, the remaining area of the of the, the you know the monastery, the lower monastery, and he says, "This is where uh, this is where the you know the henchmen they that's where they stay, the henchmen and the and the ogre, and this is where Jerith and 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 old old Drool the the simpleton ogre that he is. I mean, no respect to you, Mister Donk, because you're you, you Me guys no look the ogre. same. Uh, but Me uh, no ogre crazy person. What what are you? Yay, Goliath. Thanks See? so much, <laughs> Pithix. Thanks so Goliath. much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, okay. 
So you're a Goliath. I've never heard of the Goliath, but uh, only like tales and, and fairy tales of, of Goliath. They're mountain ogres. The fairy. Basically. There was a there was you know I do recall <laughs> there was a a fairy tale of a like a like a fairy god ogre or something fairy god Goliath. I hey. I don't know, but that was hey. when I was a kid. Hey, mow their mouth. Y Shut the fuck up. Oh, sorry. You're pissing me off. And then he points down towards the the finish the, the map. He does. He finished the map. Uh, he finishes the map and tells you that uh, uh, there's three chambers down here, and he points to three chambers. He says, "These are where the slaves are. There, there's all kinds of nice people, and and there there were more, but there was like a, a another elf. Uh, but they they said that they were somebody really important, but they took them took them away. But there's a, uh, there's a lot of other people over there. Lots of." Uh, uh, I, I think they were saying that uh, there, there's there's some uh, some merchants and some people that were uh, I guess marching in a caravan or something like that. But uh, there was a dwarf guy. He's still there. He was he was really nice. I think. Okay, I'm done. I'm done talking uh, to you. Wait, wait, hold on. That sounds. Like I think the it's, caravan we're looking for. I I think. His name was Buldenthar or something like that. He's a really nice guy, but there's a couple times where, uh, or you know, Jolth, the, Jerth, they'd take him away, and uh, he'd be gone for a couple hours, and he'd come back, and he'd be, oh man, they just beat the ever-loving shit out of this dwarf, and and he'd come back with busted up eyes, look like look like big old apples on on his eyes. Man, I sort of like what else, she's uh, got. Do you guys have any more questions for this guy? So are we are are we free to go? Can can we can we You're really free to go? Yeah, get the hell out of here. Are yes, you, get the fuck out of here. Would you guys promise to take care of the other slaves in the chambers? Please. We'll take I, care of slaves. Only if you promise okay. to leave now. <laughs> I'm fucking a. We're out of here. <laughs> God Keep damn it. to your right as you walk around corner. So all you know, all four of these, like I said, they've got about three to four feet of chain. You know, section between all of them, and they uh, they basically well, I, I, all scurry away. It all. Oh, sure. Uh, oh, you're gonna pick them, so you just basically work with it, and it, it's not the, the the highest quality of lock. And seeing that you have messed around with locks and in, in your past and whatnot, you, you're able to get them all freed. And they're like, oh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Leo. You, uh, Theo, the you're really really nice. Yeah, the, the two yeah, chicks. Me up and yeah. sometimes. The two chicks and the other and, and the other human there, he's like, Man, fucking I'm out of here, man. Yeah, thanks thanks a lot. You know, they thank you and, and the one guy, he's still there. He says So what what are you guys gonna do now? Can maybe I might Get the fuck can, away. Can I come with you guys? No. I yes. fine, you can you can come. I have plate mail you can wear. I, you I leave. turn to the rest of them and I, and I go, we could use them as cannon fodder. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not going to do bitch. that. I, yeah. But, Here, I, I have this uh, red shirt you can wear. <laughs> With the neon lights on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm out of here. Thanks thanks again, guys. And he, and he, uh, and he basically <laughs> sprints off. <laughs> Oh, he didn't sure want to I be our red shirt, red shirt on our landing party. <laughs> don't, don't you just love random encounters? I, I, I love it. All right, so the, the, these four guys, that they disappear. <laughs> well, at least uh, we have a map sorry, of this place buddy. now. <clears throat> yeah. Wait, yeah. Did you get the map from him? Yeah. Ba basically, let me, uh, let me uncover the rest of this, and uh, I'm going to show you guys. Basically, where everything is. Oops. This is this is what this is what he knows of. Oh, and he tells you to the the upper east. Uh, basically, where where the where the cage was. That was a. Uh, that was the area going down to the geode. But he talks about there's a, a lot more dead ends and whatnot. And I'm just going to uncover all of this stuff for you guys. Now, I'm not going to co cover everything, uh, uncover everything. But uh, down here, he, he draws the, the three pits because he has been in these. 
They kept moving on me. He's like, yeah, they they keep moving me from from pit to pit, and 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 I kept getting comfortable in one, and then they 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 move me to another one, and man, it was just so uncomfortable. This guy was like a like a tall. I hate that guy. <laughs> uh, can I can I choke him out yet? <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. All yeah, right. I said, can I put him in the sleeper hold? Yeah, this is basically everything that he's he everything that you guys can see here is what he knows of. Uh, you know where he drew doors. He just had no clue what was on on the other side of the doors. Basically, you know, he just he just has no clue. But he says that the you know the 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 room up to the north. This is where, you know, this is where the lich hangs out. This is where you know all of the monsters dwell. You know, and then he talks about the the area in the middle that's not covered. This is uh, basically where the ogre and the other uh, orogs hang out. So I turn to the group, and I'm like. Let's go help yeah. other slaves. <clears throat> Donk no like slaves. Yeah, and he mentioned they work for Donk. I, yeah, he, we can he have ourselves an army to clear this place out. Yeah, he, he mentioned the leader's name was Jerth. Uh, uh, we have a slave and, uprising. And then yeah, and then he had a uh, you know, uh, he called him. Remember, he called him Flabby Simpleton, and his name was Drool. And then he said there were three other, three other orogs. So there, but there were a total of four. You know, the, the, well, four including the leader. So. So as we start heading that way, <clears throat> I start pondering. Me wonder why they didn't use axes and tools to break their own chains. That's crazy. And then I start heading to the west or to the east. Nice anime. Let's go south to free the slaves. I mean, I go south. Why are you making Donk walk so far? Because you're fat and you need exercise. Me not fat. Me big bone. Well, those are pretty fat ass bones then. Jesus. We've got rough. fat bones, yes. That guy has angered up me blood. He, he's kind of chapped your ass, huh? He has. <laughs> All right, thanks for controlling, Kel, guys. I appreciate it. All right, so, yeah, you know, you guys are traveling through these uh, these chambers. Uh, lots of dead ends. Look back and go, shh, let's be sneaky right now. <laughs> Theo, you, you actually noticed there's a bunch of broken mining picks and shit everywhere. Probably from the unskilled laborers that were uh, probably breaking the tools. <laughs> Theo, how can you go so fast? You've got tiny little short legs. Because I'm in shape. Brown's a shape. I'm shape, pear shape. Yeah, as you guys are, are, are coming down this corner, you can see that, you know, his map is actually really accurate. There's a door there, a nice iron door. And you can also hear uh, to the east, you, <laughs> Kel just rushes right in. Oh, YOLO! I'm going in! No, stop it! <clears throat> so, yeah, to the east, you can hear, uh, you know, a couple, you know, voices and whatnot. But you know, over, over to the east, uh, there's the, the three basically the three rooms where they have all of the slaves well let me see if i have is this how does this door swing does this swing both uh, it, pu it pushes in it, that's pushes what he in. said okay <laughs> the, the, the that's door what he pushes said. in all right i was just thinking if there's a way i can uh alarm this or put a, a block this somehow but i guess not <clears throat> Didn't can't somebody do an alarm? Yeah, they I can set an alarm on it. Well, I was thinking, and I'll say that as Donk, maybe we should watch door while we let out guys in case we get bum rushed. Okay. What you think? I think we're gonna be. I like it. Yeah. 
I can set up um, an alarm system on it. Sweet! I mean, okie doke. How many of these picks and hammers and whatnot and whatnot are uh, still in relatively good shape? Oh, they're no, they're they're like fucking all bented and tweaked out, and they're they're definitely not usable. That's for sure. Could they be usable you're, you're like, as weapons? What in the hell? Uh, sure, as like an improvise, it would do what one d one d three, whatever improvise is. Have to look it up really quick. Yeah, I think it's 1d3 plus your strength. Well, my plan is to inspire these to slave revolt. Hopefully there's like a Spartacus among them. <clears throat> we can have a, a Haitian revolution. The only successful slavery uh, revolution, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. In the history of mankind. Yeah, I'm glad you I glad you narrowed it down to mankind because there's probably a lot of planets that have slave rebellions that were successful. I'm pretty Whoa. sure a lot of them probably failed too. So Raz, how long does it take you to set up that freaking alarm? Oh, it only takes me yeah. a minute. What what kind of uh, what kind of alarm are you going to do? So, I'm going to put um on the door um Death Ward Deathwood. No. Um... Power word kill. <laughs> Put some really big knockers on that. Um, I can either do. What do you guys think? I should either do. I can either do just. A, um, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not even gonna ask you. I'm gonna do an audible alarm, so it just sounds off. We can all hear it. Um, when the alarm goes off. That may be a problem, though, because <laughs> don't we want to be a little bit stealthy? That yeah, we're gonna be. Go <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to be stuck in a corner anyways. Improvised weapon damage is 1d4. Um, 1d4. Yeah, that's not bad. No, not too bad at all. I think I think you ought to do... What are the other options other than an audible alarm? The one I, can do just a, I can just do a mental alarm where just, I just can hear it when it goes that's off. That's what I think you should do because then it'll be super quiet. Right? And then you just yeah. tell us, somebody's coming. I detect it. I detect someone's coming. We're screwed. Run, you son of a bitch. Run. <laughs> I'm Run, just start fallen. running. Run. I start okay, running. So how, oh. do you make, how do you make that happen? Are you supposed to roll something for the door? No. <clears throat> it just happens? Why don't it's... you do it all the time? I can. <laughs> <laughs> What are you? What are you using now? Um. Well, it's just a tiny bell and a piece of silver wire. But if it's a mental one, how do I there's set it up a, like that? There's, there's no mental one. Well, for what? What are you trying to use? A, well, it says there's a, a mental alarm that alerts you with a ping in your mind. What? What feature is it? Primeval it's awareness. Just, no, it's just alarm. It's a spell. Oh, your your spell spell. Oh, yes, so my perfect. spell spell alarm. <clears throat> let's make it happen. You never use let's, it. Let's uh, use it. Let's read it. Sorry about that. Let's see. You said no, alarm okay. intrusion. Choose a door, window, or other area no longer than twenty foot cube. Now that's fine. Uh, until the spell ends, uh, lasts for eight hours. Okay. Do you have the tiny bell and piece of silver wire in your inventory? No. Okay, then you cannot use it. <laughs> you, can't, you can't use it. That's the way okay, uh, that's the way D&D 5e works. VSM, you're fine. That's a uh, verbal, somatic, which is hand movements, and then material is a tiny bell and oh, a piece of okay. silver wire. So I need so, to have yeah. a tiny bell to do it. Yeah, Even if yeah. it's a mental alarm. Wait, well, don't actually a tiny bell. You know, he, here's Cause... here's some gray area. Now, do you have a component pouch? Like uh, you, you, you need to have a, a component pouch. I don't think you have a component pouch. No, <laughs> not that I'm aware it, of. Okay, so the next time you de next time you go back to town, you need to pick up a component pouch. Now, when you have a component pouch, that uh, that satisfies any kind of material component that does not have a gold piece value. 
So you would basically have the bell and silver wire in your component pouch, or the bat guano, or whatever you need. Now, if it said 50 gold piece diamond, then you would have to have a 50 gold piece diamond. But if you have 250 gold worth of gems, then you you you, you know you satisfy that. So, but that's that's how components work in D and D five E. You need a component pouch, okay. or you need or you need your uh, your casting implement. So, or which for a, a ranger, uh, for a ranger, I don't even know what the what the implement would be. <clears throat> I think it would probably yeah. be just about a uh, component pouch. I mean, I'll, uh, so how would I be able to do like it mentally if I'm setting it? Like it's magic. It can't be mental. It would oh, just, just be magic, magic yeah. But that's what, the, okay. that's what the that's what the that's what the spell calls for component wise. So it would be like a bell, and then the, I guess it would just not ring and just send like a uh, a mental ping to you. So, but yeah, yeah. Just, Rez, this game has lots of magic in it. But but but, but I'll I'll, I'll tell you tell. what I'll tell you what uh, we'll we'll I'll be a, an awesome DM, and I'll let you take money off of your. Your character sheet right now. If you want to buy a spell component pouch, so yeah. But yeah, that's that's definitely part of the spell casting mechanics of a uh, five E. So let, let's go to uh, how much is the uh, spell component? I think it's pretty. Exp not not. I don't think it's too bad. It is twenty five GP. Is it twenty five gold? Fifteen hundred yep. gold, I think. All right. I can handle that <laughs> easily. What did you say, Donk? <laughs> Here's 1,500 gold! Here, <laughs> make some plate mail! <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead and take the 25 off and drag and drop a spell component pouch onto your inventory. So th okay. that'll that'll basically, uh, that'll satisfy it. So yeah, you can go ahead and, and use uh, alarm. Jeez, all that just to freaking... Put a, Set up I, an alarm. I, I, mm -hmm. I yeah, I good idea! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll set up with a, a mental alarm on the uh, door and okay. kind of yep. tell them what what I'm doing okay. quietly. That's within one mile, so yeah, that's pretty nice. And then the ping will awake you if you're sleeping. Well, that's pretty yep. nice. Holy shit, that's that's really nice. And it has how many milliseconds mm -hmm. and how much gets that ping. Yeah, Don't so you, follow me while I go check these uh, cells out. Yeah, you get this. Uh, you get this door wired up. Takes you just uh, just takes you a little bit uh, as you're as you're finishing that up. Uh, Kel is gonna is gonna stay there and, and make sure that uh, that you're okay. So as soon so, as he gets it done, I'm gonna open the door. No, I'm no, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alarm goes off. I start What's running. What's in there? What's indoor, by the way? God damn! <laughs> Fuck you, donk. I uh, love it. <laughs> Throw the bell at his head. Oh, my kidding. Donk not really do that. It's fixing to be four <laughs> on one versus Donk. So, yeah, as you as you get up to, uh, you know, where all of the all of the slaves are. Uh, let's see. Can I can I place these in here? Will they will they place? They will. That is awesome. Oops. Yes, it's taking a second. Just Wait for problem. it. Wait for it. Boom! We got a C. Yeah, where all these C's are, these are all of the commoners. Don't see something. <laughs> and there are a bunch of them. Nobody get my joke about me yeah, there, seeing something. There are a bunch. I of heard you. So you know, especially when you get to this first cell, they're like, "Oh, don't, uh, no, no more, please, no more." You want to go to roll my persuasion? Uh, yes, please. I'm gonna use my inspiration on this one. <clears throat> Ooh, I like it. Oh, nice. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll burn your, uh, I'll burn your inspiration for you. Yep. Don't forget to, guys, don't forget to hit the advantage button lower left. Ah. Um, roll it again. Your 13, your 13 was fine. They're like, hush, hush, hush. Who, who, who are We're you? We're here to get you out. Lead you to freedom. Oh, really? Oh, Oh, this is this is great news! Hey, everybody, 
these these guys are here to, to, to get us out of here. And you can hear, you know, kind of some crying and stuff going on. You know, just in this this first cell, you know, in this, this next cell, Kel starts to approach and Kel tells him, hey, hey, you guys shut up. You know, we're, we're, we're here, we're here to, to let you loose. So he's going to do a, a, a persuasion check also. Let's let's see if uh, Kel can do it. Donk's gonna Donk's gonna tell Alora. Oh yeah! Wow. You better 